So Martin Luther was this German monk who, some might say, started the Protestant Reformation when he nailed his 95 theses to the door of a church in Wittenberg in 1517. He wrote the 95 Theses, his most famous work of writing, because he was mad at the Catholic Church for being corrupt and selling indulgences to impoverished peasants who didn't know any better. And he nailed them to the church because the church people didn't listen to him when he asked them nicely to stop. The guy that Martin Luther hated the most was Johann Tetzel, this Dominican friar who sold indulgences for the church and also should have really laid off the cheesy poofs if you know what I mean. But then Tetzel died, possibly from bad nutrition, and Luther took on the Pope himself, who at the time was Leo X. Luther thought that the church was getting in the way of Jesus, and that the papacy and church hierarchy were corrupt institutions which extorted money from the uneducated masses to line the pockets of already wealthy people like the Medicis, a super rich family in Florence. And he kind of had a point, because Pope Leo X was a Medici, and the church was pretty much controlled by the greedy elites. Leo excommunicated Luther from the church, which kind of proved that he was right. Luther, of course, not the Pope. But just because he was right about the church doesn't mean Martin Luther was a totally great guy. Luther was really passionate about religion and was sort of a my way or the highway sort of guy, and thought that any religion other than his specific flavor of Christianity, Lutheranism, was totally wrong and led only to hell. But there was one religion he hated especially, for some reason even more than the Catholic Church. Martin Luther really hated Jews. He tried to get them all to convert to Christianity, but for some reason they didn't. So he decided that all Jews should have their property destroyed and their civil rights taken away. The title of his main anti-Semitic work is On the Jews and Their Lies, just to make sure no one picks it up at the bookstore without knowing what they're about to read. And it was used by Nazis during the Holocaust to justify their beliefs. Anyways, regardless of Martin Luther's virtues or lack thereof, he started a really big snowball rolling with the whole Reformation thing. Germany, Switzerland, England, Scotland, and a bunch of other Northern European countries were significantly changed by various different flavors of religious reform, and the exploits of Protestant people spreading all their Jesus stuff around the world has caused lasting repercussions which are still visible in today's society, such as the large numbers of rednecks in the American South. The religious influences on antebellum, bellum, and post-bellum America are significant and controversial. Religious justifications for the institution of slavery were common and came mainly from Protestant slave owners, thereby shaping the nature of religious life in the South and setting the stage for continued racial injustice up through today, including a pivotal era when the Civil Rights Movement happened. And the most famous civil rights person was Martin Luther King Jr., the Baptist minister who was named after Martin Luther by his dad, and was definitely a way cooler guy than the original. Happy MLK Day, and I hope you enjoyed this historical video. Please subscribe for more education and knowledge. And also, please watch this really rad music video to learn more about Martin Luther.